Today, we're taking a look at the brand new automatic watering system we installed in our chick brooder. In addition to a nipple watering line, these Plasson bell drinkers will keep our chicks happy and hydrated until they make their big move out to pasture. Join us to learn about this new system and stay tuned until the end of this video to see the impact this new system has had on weight gains for our most recent batch of chicks. Hey guys, I'm Sam Noble here at Heifer USA. We're here in the chick brooder today talking about the new watering system that we installed. Let's get started, guys. This brooder is where we receive new chicks for our pastured poultry operation. Here in the brooder, we're able to control every aspect of the chick's environment in order to provide the safest habitat for the chicks to start their journey. By providing ample food and water, carefully controlling the brooder temperature, ensuring adequate ventilation, and limiting biosecurity hazards, we can provide the perfect environment for the chicks to slowly acclimate to the Arkansas weather and grow strong enough to make the big move to pasture. Because proper hydration and nutrition are essential to that early growth, we want our chicks to have consistent access to food and water. In the past, we've used an automatic Ziggity nipple watering line supplemented with gallon-sized flip-over drinkers situated around the brooder. While these combined to provide constant access to water, the limited size of the flip-over drinkers required frequent refilling. With over 3,000 tiny beaks to water, it's easy to imagine how many times our livestock team had to collect, clean, and refill these drinkers every day. Additionally, the flip-over drinkers quickly collected pine shavings, stray feathers, and other materials that dirtied the water and created health risks for the chicks. Between constant cleaning and refilling, these flip-over drinkers were rather labor-intensive for our team, so we began looking for a new solution that better suited our needs. Though there are many great options for automatic chicken waterers, we settled on installing a set of Plasson Bell Drinkers in our brooder. We decided on the new Plasson Bell Drinkers because they would be a good transition from the brooder to the schooner, on top of being a lot less work for our team. These drinkers are quite similar to the hanging drinkers that we use in our schooners, where the chickens live out on pasture. Introducing a similar system to the brooder creates an easier transition for the chicks and much less work for our livestock team. We purchased eight bell drinkers to distribute evenly throughout our brooder, and each drinker cost around $50. The total cost of materials and installation will depend on the size of your brooder, the number of chicks you raise, and the availability of existing water lines for easy connection. Because of our brooder's existing infrastructure, we were able to implement the Plasson drinkers easily and cost-effectively. There are a few more reasons that the Plasson bell drinkers were the perfect fit for our pastured poultry operation. First, each bell drinker hangs from the ceiling with an adjustable chain to ensure the drinkers hang at the correct height for our chicks. The ideal height for a waterer is where the bird's neck meets its back. This height will allow for easy drinking, which will help the chicks stay hydrated. Because the chicks in the brooder grow quickly, it's important that we raise the waterer when necessary using the adjustable chain. To increase or decrease the amount of water that's in the bottom of the bell drinker, turn this white portion of the drinker to raise it up to decrease the amount of water and lower it down to increase the amount of water. For birds that are one day to one week old, you want the maximum amount of water that's in the bottom of the bell so that they can easily reach it without any issues and they can see it easily as well. Because the bell drinkers hang from the ceiling, we could easily connect them to the existing water line that feeds our automatic Ziggity nipple waterer. This allows the drinker to refill itself any time the water level drops too low, meaning the Plasson system requires less work from our livestock team. You may remember our video on chick brooder updates and improvements for this year's production cycles, where we talked about the Dosatron pump we recently installed. This device allows us to infuse electrolytes into the chick's watering system, adding nutrients for healthier, faster-growing chicks. The water source is in that corner there, comes up out of the floor, and then comes along the wall here, and then up over the ceiling, and then down into our Ziggity lines and into our Plasson line across the ceiling there. With the Ziggity nipple line and the Plasson bell drinkers hooked up to the same water line, the electrolytes are now distributed through both systems, allowing for even greater access to the nutrient-boosted water. 
If your chicks aren't drinking out of the Poisson line, when they first arrive, you can take their beaks and dip them into the drinker, and that will encourage them to drink out of the water. In terms of cleanliness, the Poisson bell drinkers are a great improvement over the flip-over drinkers for a couple of reasons. First, the bell drinkers hang above the ground rather than sitting on top of pine shavings. This prevents the chicks from climbing into the drinker and pushing shavings or droppings into the water. Second, the bell drinkers are easier to clean. While the flip-over drinkers had to be dumped out, disassembled, and rinsed before cleaning, the Poisson bell drinkers can simply be scrubbed and rinsed without ever being removed from their chains. Every day we take a scrubbing pad and clean all around the base of the bell and around the bottom trough area just for everyday cleaning. Of course, the most important improvements are that the Poisson bell drinkers require less manual labor for our team and provide more consistent water access for our chicks. And, as many pastured poultry farmers know, water intake drives feed consumption, prompting faster weight gain and growing bigger birds at the end of the production cycle. Let's take a look at the physical improvements our chicks have made since we installed the Poisson bell drinker system. Our previous batch of chicks, the fourth flock of 2021, spent their time in the brooder using the Ziggity nipple line and the flip over drinkers. After two weeks in the brooder, the average chick weight was 0.87 pounds. Flock number five, the first batch of chicks to use the new Poisson bell drinkers in the brooder, had an average weight of one pound when weighed after two weeks. That's a 15% increase in weight over the previous flock. Additionally, the current flock of chicks may experience an easier transition from brooder to schooner now that the bell drinkers are present in both habitats. This could lead to increased weight gain after moving to pasture, but that remains to be seen as we continue to raise flock number five on pasture. Overall, implementing Poisson bell drinkers in our chicken brooder has improved chick health and lightened the livestock team's workload, creating a system that's beneficial for both farmers and animals. If you choose to switch to Poisson bell drinkers in your brooder, leave us a comment below to let us know how it goes. As always, if you found value in this video, please like it and consider subscribing to our channel. We'll see you next time.